Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Monday, May 29th. It's the seventh week of Easter and week six in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 89, God's Covenant with David. At Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 1 through 17, the siege of Jerusalem is portrayed. And now, please join me in singing the fourth verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Listen to God's voice today, and harden not your hearts, as in the desert long ago when our forebears provoked God. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, I will sing of your mercies forever. I will tell of your faithfulness to all generations. Hallelujah, Psalm 89. And please recite it with me. Hallelujah, I will sing of your mercies forever. I will tell of your faithfulness to all generations. For I know that your love is forever. You established your faithfulness in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I've sworn to David my servant. Your dynasty I will establish forever and build up your dominion to all generations. And the heavens shall praise your wonders your faithfulness in the congregation of the saints. For who in heaven can be compared to you? Who among the children of the mighty can be likened to you? You are greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be held in reverence by all about. O most high God of hosts, who is like you? Your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the stormy sea and you still the raging waves. You have broken Rahab in pieces. You have scattered your enemies. The heavens are yours and also the earth, the world and all that is in it. For you have founded them. The north and the south have you created. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand. High is your right hand. Justice and righteousness are the foundations of your throne. Mercy and truth go before you. Blessed are the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk in the light of your countenance. In your name shall they rejoice all the day, and in your righteousness they shall be exalted. For you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our might shall be exalted. For you are our defense. The Holy One of Israel is our ruler. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will sing of your mercies forever. I will tell of your faithfulness to all generations. Hallelujah. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. And you, O mortal, take a brick and set it before you. On it portray a city, Jerusalem, and put siege works against it, and build a siege wall against it, and cast up a ramp against it, set camps also against it, and plant battering rams against it all around. Then take an iron plate and place it as an iron wall between you and the city. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. And you, O mortal, take a brick and set it before you, and on it portray a city, Jerusalem. Put siege works against it, and build a siege wall against it, and cast up a ramp against it. Set camps also against it, and plant battering rams against it all around. 
Then take an iron plate and place it as an iron wall between you and your city. Set your face toward it and let it be in a state of siege and press the siege against it. This is a sign for the house of Israel. And then lie on your left side and place the punishment of the house of Israel upon it. You shall bear their punishment for the number of the days that you lie there. For I assign to you a number of days, 390 days, equal to the number of the years of their punishment. And so you shall bear the punishment of the house of Israel. When you have completed these, you shall lie down a second time, but on your right side, and bear the punishment of the house of Judah. Forty days I assign you, one day for each year. You shall set your face toward the siege of Jerusalem, and with your arm bared you shall prophesy against it. See, I am putting cords on you, so that you cannot turn from one side to the other until you have completed the days of your siege. And you take wheat and barley, beans and lentils, millet and spelt, and put them into one vessel and make bread for yourself. During the number of days that you lie on your side, 390 days you shall eat it. The food that you eat shall be 20 shekels a day by weight. At fixed times you shall eat it, and you shall drink water by measure, one-sixth of a hen. At fixed times you shall drink, and you shall eat it as a barley cake, baking it in their sight on human dung, the Most High said. Thus shall the people of Israel eat their bread unclean among the nations to which I will drive them. Then I said, O oh, Yahweh God, I have never defiled myself. From my youth up until now, I have never eaten what died of itself or what was torn by animals, nor has carrion flesh come into my mouth. And then he said to me, See, I will let you have cow dung instead of human dung, on which you may prepare your bread. Then he said to me, Mortal, I am going to break the staff of bread in Jerusalem. They shall eat bread by weight and with fearfulness, they shall drink water by measure and in dismay. Lacking bread and water, they will look at one another in dismay and waste under their punishment. Here ends the lesson. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We sing of your love, O tender God, and proclaim your faithfulness forever. May we ever walk in your holy presence and rejoice every day in your righteousness and favor. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.